Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we've got another Five Guns episode for you and this is a very special episode because I have a very special guest, Autumn from Autumn's Armory. Now, you might recognize her as having one really cool YouTube channel and she's one of the youngest gun tubers out there. Today is her ninth birthday and she has come uh, into the studio here to do a video with us and she wanted to show us her top five favorite guns out of my collection here. She went through and picked out some cool stuff. <coughs> I must admit, not the stuff I would expect a young girl to pick out. Yeah, these, one of these in, well, two of these in this whole thing right here. There is a wild card that is a newer gun, I think. I don't really know. But <laughs> still, the re all of these, like, four of these right here are pretty, like, older okay these four we'll, we'll, we'll go this. over it we'll talk yeah. about it and, and we also have your your we have another visitor with us today that you brought along yes tolly my little baby there you go my and baby. and 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 she's been with you a long time huh yes since i was born since you were born yes oh, so so she goes everywhere with you maybe not everywhere but most everywhere. Most everywhere, yeah. She is losing, because I always hold her like this. Oh. She is losing a lot of stuffing in her chest. You can't even feel it. Like it's just I see that. Yeah. <laughs> so like there's no stuffing in there. This is, this is Kermit. And uh, so the tag on this uh, particular Kermit, uh, so he is from 1987. Ooh. Giving away my age a little bit, but I've had Kermit since 1987. <laughs> and uh, say hello to Kermit. Hello. All right. Before we get started, I'd like to thank our friends at RMA Body Armor for supporting our videos. They have some great American-made body armor, soft armor, and hard armor. We've done a lot of testing on their armor. It's held up really great. I think it's a wonderful value. If you decide you want to get something, tell them we sent you, and a big thanks to them for supporting our content. We're going to get into this top five video. we got some great selections here, Autumn. Uh, I'm quite surprised at some of the things you chose. So, you want to go from smallest to largest? Yes. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to start off with the little Beretta. Yeah, so this is a Beretta 950. And it's cool that you chose this one because it's 22 short, and it is a semi-auto 22 short. And this is a really early model that was made around 1954. I seriously need that gun. That is so small. Isn't that cool? Yes, that yeah. is so small. There you go. Cute. Check it out. Thank you. I can't even move my pinky. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, it's I tiny. I can if I squish it, but like... That's right. Well, how do I... Uh... Push the barrel down until it locks. So, let me show you something cool about the way this particular one works, okay? So, you've got... Oi, there we go. Yeah. So, the neat thing about it is it's a single action, but with the tipping barrel, you don't really have to retract the slide because for a lot of folks that slide can be kind of hard to pull back if you lack, you know, upper body strength or hand strength. So the neat thing about this gun is you can load it and unload it just by tipping the barrel. Yeah. So you have a full mag, right? You hit that little lever and it pops the barrel open and you can just take the round and put it directly in the chamber and then close it. It doesn't have an extractor. It's just blowback. It just blows it out. And then you can have a full mag and one in the chamber and just close it and cock the hammer and it's ready to shoot. Yeah, how many does it hold in the mag? Uh, I think six shots. But yeah. it is a it, can I this is a mag? classy gun. Yeah. This is what we call in in the gun world you call these mouse guns. Because yeah. it's a twenty two short. You know, a lot of people don't consider twenty two short to really be adequate for self defense. I mean, obviously it's a pretty light medicine, but it is a fun plinker and a really interesting part of Beretta's pistol lineup for sure. Yeah. It's a neat piece. And what you were talking about earlier, if you lack strength, I do not lack strength. Because I weigh 60 pounds and I can lift a 50 pound deer corn bag. Oh, wow. So, yeah. right I here and now, y'all need to know that Autumn can handle pulling back the slide. Don't you think for one second that she can't pull back the slide on this gun? Yeah, pin my muscle. Ooh, strong. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to number two. <laughs> All right, and this is a Browning 380. Now, you saw this particular one. I think you really liked the... Oh, it's got a magazine disconnect safety. So I'm just going to drop the hammer and pull this mag back out. All right, I'm going to lock it to the rear. But that's a Browning Black Label 380. Cool. This guy's really small, and we might be trying this guy out later. 
you know, out of all of the guns that she's seen today, I think this is the one that she has the most interest in, is the uh, is the Browning. I really like that slide. Yep. And so that's a 1911 uh, set up in 380. It's a single stack. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight shot magazine. Yeah. Okay, and it's a single stack 380. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You want to try the trigger out? Oh, yeah. Here. So we're going to put empty magazine in there because it does have a magazine disconnect safety. Yeah. And you verify everything's empty. All right, just give it a try. Try that trigger. See what you think. Usually I would not shoot with one finger. I usually shoot with two like this. Because sometimes is it hard for you to pull the trigger? No, I've just been doing it since I was really young. And it's just stuck with me. So is nine years old not really young? No, no, like whenever I started shooting at two. You've been shooting since you were two? Yes. So you've been I, shooting seven years out of your nine year life? Yes. You have a very interesting upbringing, Autumn. Yes. You're very lucky that you get uh, to be exposed to a lot of this cool stuff at such a young age. Yeah, That's a nice but, piece of headgear thank you. that you're wearing. Thank you. I had to, you know, get my headgear out as well so we could match. <laughs> yeah, he's got a raccoon. Uh oh, you knocked your juice over. That's okay. Grab your juice. Yeah, she's, she has to stand on this camera case. Okay, we're going to move on to number three. Now, you selected this um, star here. So, this is a little star 22 that I picked up. You know, interesting thing about this gun, it does have a fixed barrel. So, it's a fixed barrel, and you see the rear of the slide just kind of blows back uh, like some of the early Smith & Wesson designs. That, that looks really weird because the barrel looks like it's just floating in there. Yep. But this is just covering that little thing that's holding yeah. it. it. You know, it's it's kind of a hodgepodge of different elements of different gun designs that are out there. You've probably seen some of the Walther P38s and some of the you know early Beretta designs and things like that, and some of the Smith and Wesson designs. Good call <laughs> there. Stupid. You got got the got the juice out of here, huh? I like it. But uh, single action, 22 long rifle, and you mentioned earlier, so one, one of the things about this little star you thought was interesting was the overall aesthetic. It looked kind of old to you. You like that? Kind of cowboy-like? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yes. Yeah. To me, it kind of looks like a 1911, even though it has this right here mm -hmm. and that big, like, big lump and no uh, grip safety. That's an astute observation. So And a really weird-looking... It sure does. <laughs> you know, the, the frame definitely screams 1911. You got the safety in the same location. You know, it's got a very similar uh, grip safety, or not the grip safety, but the actual manual safety locks the slide shut just like a 1911. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's a very good observation on that. So maybe you have to try this one out. See what you think. Yeah. Is that 22? 22 long rifle. That's cool. correct. So you got no, a so 22 they... short, a 380, and then a 22 long rifle. And then another 22, which is number four. Look at that. I didn't even have to segue into number four. She did it for me. Look at that. You, you just are a great presenter. Okay, now this is a vintage Winchester Model 62 gallery gun. Now, um, it is a little heavy. Yes. Isn't that cool? Yes. Yep. Oh. Okay, yep. So this is not going to retract unless the uh, hammer's all the way down. So you can just thumb the hammer down all the way. Yep, and now you can pull it to the rear. And we is can see empty? it's obviously empty, of course. We've yeah. double and triple and quadruple checked everything. Yeah. Now, the cool thing about this gun, Autumn, is that back in the old days, they used to use these at carnivals. Oh. So when they would set up the shooting games at the carnivals, that's why they call it a gallery gun, because they'd have literally the shooting galleries, okay? Wait, they, like, they didn't have those full auto airsofts? No. <laughs> this was back was when really carnivals cool. actually used real guns. You could go to a carnival as a kid, and you could shoot cans, and if you shot a certain amount of cans, you won a teddy bear or something like that. That was back when, uh, let's just say the overall view that folks had of children and guns was very different than what it is now. So it's interesting. You chose the gallery gun because this is an actual gallery gun that was used in carnivals back in the day. And one way you can tell, I'll show you. Look, if we just close it, you know, it's got the little pump action and everything, okay? If we look at the serial numbers, okay, you notice that the serial number on each of these parts doesn't match. Okay. Yeah. The reason it doesn't match is because a lot of the people that run the carnivals would pull the guns apart and clean them and maintain them, and they wouldn't really care too much about the way they went back together in terms of keeping them matching. That just wasn't a concern back then. Um, <laughs> so to have one that's mismatched is actually pretty correct because that lets you know it was likely used in the carnival realm a little bit more. So... <laughs> I spilled apple juice on That's myself. That's right. So like, oh, it's okay. 
You, you, you are, you are an interesting little girl. You know that. <laughs> so we got the the gallery gun, and, and now what's cool about this is it's also in twenty two short. So you had your twenty two short Beretta, and then your twenty two long, and you also a chose 22. a twenty two short. I thought this was just a regular twenty two. Wait, nope. Wait, twenty two short. See the marking. Twenty two. Where's it say? It might be on the other side. Look over here. What's that say? Yeah. Twenty two short. Yeah. Mm hmm. It looks a lot longer. But yep. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You'll have to shoot it later. Yeah. What do you think? Definitely. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yep. It's really short. What a great observation, Autumn. So you notice that the small port for loading would mean that a twenty two long rifle would hardly be able to fit in there if maybe not even fit in there. So that's a very good observation. Unless there. you went. Look at that. She, she's smart as a whip, this one. All right, so let's move the gallery gun. So number five, it's, you chose this PAP here. Yes, I have shot a 7.62 by 39 before, but it was a very heavy gun. Uh -huh. So, and boy, this one's heavy too. <laughs> yay, yay. Um, what was I saying? You've shot a 7.62 by 39 before? Yes, um, with the channel Whisper Tactical. Okay, Whisper Tactical. Check yeah. them out, as well as Autumn's Armory. Make sure you subscribe to Autumn on Autumn's Armory. Yes, and he had a regular size AK, like a huge, not huge, but like regular size AK. Mm-hmm. It might be one of the frames. So, no. considering that you were a, 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 a small statured young lady, you like this because it's a little shorter, a little easier to control, and that yeah. stock is a little long for you. Yeah, but you'll grow into it. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just barely, I'm just barely <laughs> touching this. Oh my gosh. That's right. Is it a little heavy? Yeah. Look, AKs are heavy. How heavy does that weigh? AKs are heavy. And look, this one has a folding stock. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Can you shoot it like that? Absolutely. Yeah, so that um, charging handle. Just quick question. Where's it the locks into this uh, safety here to lock it to the rear. Quick question, though. Where is the buffer and buffer tube and spring and... Stuff. <laughs> okay, are we really gonna go here? We can. Okay, let's I go just there. I want to know. Okay, so you want to know how it operates? Okay, so it's normal for that bolt to slam uh, because this thing it doesn't really hold it with a lot of authority. So on this style of gun, you have this top cover, and this one is actually oh, attached. Oh right. Right. Yeah, because so I have you, a couple goat gun AKs. I have a gold one and a black one, just to like in. Yep. So see, there's your, your bolt and yeah. your carrier. Yeah, and then this is the buffer, I'm guessing. Yep, and that, that's your recoil spring assembly. And there's not really a buffer, per se. Uh, some people will run these little polymer buffers to help keep the bolt from bouncing the back of the receiver a little bit. You can do that if you want. There you go. You got it. It's really you're, hard with a go-gun. Yeah, it's really hard with the real gun. It's okay. Just, you're almost there. You had it. A little bit higher. All right, look, I'm going to show you a trick. Oh, you got it. You got it. But I will also show you a trick. So this, because it's hinged, it always goes back in the same spot, just like that. But I'll show you a trick. If you're ever having a hard time getting one of these things to go back down, you can actually take this spring and set it here about like this, just to the rear, about maybe like that. Okay. And let's see if this works. All right. And we close it and hold it down. And we're going to pull the bolt to the rear. Look at that, and it popped back in the slot. So if yeah. you're ever having a hard time getting the, the top cover to, to line up, that's one a little trick, all right? Yeah. But yeah, AKs are fun. Yes. They're a lot of fun, and uh, I think they offer a good bit of utility. They're fun to shoot. Uh, this is lightweight. It's a 10 and a half inch barrel uh, gun, so relatively small, lightweight. Um, so that's the M92 PAP was your number five. So what's the wild card, Autumn? So we always have a wild card in every Five Guns video. I'm going to go out of frame really quick. Okay, what, right what you got? Uh-oh, she's grabbing it. It's over here. All right, come on. Oh, my. What is this? <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> All right, pop it open. It's a gun inside of a gun of a box. All right, look at that. <laughs> All right. So this yeah, is a... Yeah, this thing, to me, looks kind of weird. It is weird. It looks kind of like a Luger to me. 
It's a it's a C96 Mauser broom handle. So this particular gun was designed around 1896 or so. So it's one of the earliest semi-auto, let's just say mass-produced semi-autos that are out there here. Let's go ahead and retract this bolt uh, to the rear. That looks just like an AK sight. Well, it you know, that's a very good observation. Look, we're going to go ahead and just lock the bolt to the rear. Uh, of course, the gun's empty. We verified it like a million times before we started the video. Yes, you're correct. These are tangent sights. So very, very similar type of sighting arrangement is what you'd see on an AK because the AK uses just a rear tangent. You know, they're very simple sights overall. So this one uses just sort of a fixed uh, two position oh, wait, wait. rear sight. <laughs> yep, see, so that's for 200 meters and then, yep, and 400. I mean, really, that gun is not going to be good for any further than that. So there's no sense to have any like, you know, type of regulation of the sights other than just real basic open sights. Uh, yeah. Whereby these can be adjusted in 50 meter increments. So see, it says 100, 150, then going up to 2 and to 250, and you just slide that forward, and that sets the range that yeah. you're trying to shoot. Yeah, what I mean, it looks like a Luger, is the barrel. It looks like a Luger type barrel. Mm -hmm. And like this, the lower, the lower looks like a Luger. Right, what are you grabbing? I'm grabbing a Luger. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh my gosh. Proceed. Yeah. So we can get some visual representation of what we're talking about. Yeah, so the grip kind of looks like a Luger. The trigger looks like a Luger. And this whole upper looks like a Luger. Just cut cut this off. <laughs> cut that off like that. I could see that. Except for like this backer. That That's area. correct. Not backer, back area. So some of the differences, you know, obviously is going to be the way that this gun operates. It uses a toggle. So see, when the bolt retracts to the rear, you see that it's attached to this toggle, and it toggles up and out to the rear when it extracts, and it, it this one ejects upwards. And you are right, that both guns use a fixed barrel, so that's a great observation for a nine-year-old, right? Yes. Uh, to compare but that. And you can actually see that the shape of the trigger guard itself is, is round, and the shape of the trigger is very similar. So yes. that's a good observation. Wait, where's the mag in this, though? All right, so... Is it a built-in mag? <laughs> it is. All right, so the Luger uses a detachable oh. magazine. <laughs> I'm just right here like... Where's That's the right. Bagels? So on the, the, on the broom handle, the magazine's actually built into the gun, and it's so, loaded with stripper clips. Yeah. So the mag stays stationary, and you see you got a stripper clip notch, and you... <laughs> Could All you right. use this? Well, <laughs> not quite. Okay, so she found this uh, 762 by 39 stripper clip laying over here, and she, she thought that was neat. But yes, um, I will grab one later and show you. I don't have it uh, readily available, but yes, you are correct. It uses a stripper clip, not this cartridge, obviously, and then you push them down in there. Is it 9 millimeter or what is it? Uh, this one's 30 Mauser, so it's a little bottleneck cartridge. 30 Mauser? <laughs> yep. Well, look, so when this gun came out, it was the most advanced handgun in the world at the time, and it was also one of the most powerful handguns in the world at the time. Uh, second only to, I believe, the Colt Walker, which was a you know like a big 44 and everything. But for when this gun came out and what they were accomplishing with this technology and the fact they were mass producing it, it was the most powerful and capable semi-auto handgun and in the world. You said like in the 1800s, kind of. 1896. 1896. Yep. Holy. Wow, that's, that's early. That's an old gun. It is old, and so the. How do you get all these vintage guns? I, I want to know. I, I I know people. I get them all over the place. So <laughs> you've got the stock, all right, let's put which it attaches. On. Let's yeah, let's put it on. Now I know it's a little long for you. Let's it see. Is a little I'm gonna help long. you out. How let's put you... this like this. Oh. And like then see, that. there's a slot, and it just yeah. boop, and that's it. Okay, look, and I'm gonna retract this bolt all the way. There you go. You can play with. It. Yeah, a little long for you. <laughs> what do do this? Well, I'm pretty sure when they designed the Mauser broom handle, they weren't thinking about the comfort of a nine-year-old. Um, okay, so to be fair, we, like we, we, may, we, may, <laughs> we, we might have to make you a custom stock that's really tiny. Yeah, like you know. this, this Yeah, we can long. take a saw and just cut this one off and make it shorter. <laughs> But uh, it's interesting that you chose this gun because, you know, this is a real special piece of hardware and it takes a true, you know, connoisseur of, of different guns, if you will, 
to really truly appreciate these types of things. Yeah. Okay, you want to put it back in there? Yes. Okay. Oh, and one other trivia fact. So the reason they call this a Mauser broom handle, that's not the official designation. It's more of a slang thing. Look at it the grip. It looks like a broom. <laughs> it looks like a broom. That's precisely it. So it gets called the broom handle because of its broom-like grip, which is really cool. Yes. All right, so there's your wild card. All right, we're not going to close it up, but I've, I've got it retracted. So, all right, out of everything, what's your favorite? I think the, this little guy right here. You like the 380? Yeah. All right, well, we're going to... And this one. I you, like the 380. Um, you like the gallery gun? Okay. Okay. If I had to pick... Two to three guns out of all of these, I would pick these three. So the Beretta and the Browning yes. and the, the Model 62? Yes. Very cool. So we're going to have to definitely have a chat about getting you this Browning sent down there to you so you all can get it and do some stuff with it. And I'm going to let you try it out and see what you think. And we we'll, might even, if we have time today, I think we can probably get you, you know, on all of these guns to check out and see what you think. And I really appreciate you making this Five Guns video with me. Yeah, I had such a great time with you. Yeah, me too. I was like like this trying to tie my oh, shoe. Oh, you're tying your shoe? <laughs> yeah. With you're having to stand up on the camera cases, and that's not really doing too much to improve your height. You're still you know, kind of short here. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think we're sitting down <laughs> when we make these videos. They don't realize we're standing up. So make sure, y'all, you go over and subscribe to Autumn's Armory. Her channel is great. And she's doing such a great job. And I think her parents are doing a great job of... Oh, I'm getting punched. Her parents are doing such a great job of teaching her responsible and safe gun handling. And she's just such a great channel. Make sure you check her out. Uh, we have many more videos on the way. And I think we're going to have Autumn and several more as time goes on. We'll have her as a guest. Uh, if she wants to come back. You want to come back? Yes. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. All right. So, look. Kermit's going to tell you bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Kermit the Frog here uh, signing off. And, uh, all right, uh, we're going to go. <laughs> all right, have a good one. <laughs> Many more videos on the way. All right, want to definitely take a moment to thank our Patreon supporters for supporting what we do. Thank you so very much. Also, a big shout out to all the folks who purchased T-shirts on Ballistic Inc., uh, which, by the way, I'm hoping we're going to get Autumn set up on Ballistic Inc. if she's not already. Do you have a Ballistic Inc. store? I don't know. All right. I'll we'll, have to ask my dad about that We one. will confirm and let you know. But you can support your favorite content creators on Ballistic Inc. by picking up a snazzy t-shirt. So have a great day. Many more videos on the way. And we'll see you soon. Where are you going? Oh, my. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>